So now we're going to think about the rule of thumb or the square root rule. So in the other um, videos, I went through the math explaining um, what happens to the safety inventory as we increase the number of stocking locations. And the purpose of this video is to really get you some managerial insight and some knowledge to carry with you as you go through the world thinking about supply chain decisions. So the, the square root rule is a rule of thumb. It is exactly correct. Um, if you think about the x-axis to say the number of independent stocking locations, the safety stock goes up uh, at the square root of the number of independent stocking locations. That applies directly when demands are independent among regions and identically distributed, IID. That means rho, the correlation between regions are zero. Um, however, in reality, that doesn't always work. Um, we don't always have truly independent nor necessarily identically distributed, um, but it's, it's used as a rule of thumb when they're not fully uh, correlated and they have similar enough, um, each region has similar enough distributions. And so this is something um, that I know friends in uh, consulting that have in their back pocket. And so when they think about evaluating a client's network, um, so meaning how many locations do they store their inventory, they use this as an approximation and it's really quick. Um, and the big takeaway here is that as the number of independent stocking locations, so where you have your inventory, as that increases, your safety stock also increases, but it doesn't increase at a linear rate, it increases at the square root of the number of independent stocking locations. And so if we talk about this more specifically, um, the square root rule is uh, the total safety stock can be approximated by multiplying the total inventory by the square root of the number of future facilities divided by the current number of facilities. Um, this is something that if you want the details of it is provided in this Ethon uh, paper um, from the late 70s. Um, and mathematically what that says is, if we know how much safety stock we have now, we can approximate how much we will have in the future um, by doing a ratio of how many we currently have versus how many we're gonna have in the future. And so this is again a applicable, um, but an approximation if demand across different locations are not perfectly correlated and they're drawn from relatively similar distributions. If this, those assumptions are way off, you should be using the equations to calculate the variance uh, in the previous slides and previous videos. All right, so let's just do an example. So this is super simple, but if there's a current uh, distribution has 40,000 units in safety stock, and that's across eight different facilities, and if we're interested in evaluating the difference between how much safety stock we have in eight facilities, and we're just gonna go to two, we can apply the square root rule, which is to take the square root of two over eight. So current um, is eight, future is two. Um, and so take the square root of that and multiply by the current units. Um, and we would get that we'd have 2000 units in safety stock. So we'd still have safety stock, but we need less because we have less number of locations um, to hold that inventory. All right, so hopefully this makes sense. Um, my goal here is for you to again have this piece of knowledge that you take with you. And so my main goal of this is for you to remember uh, when you leave this class, as you have more locations, you will have what in terms of holding costs in terms of safety stuff. So this example, um, I'll read it with you, is that you operate a fashion retail store and have been using an online business to consumer channel for your products for a few years. Your current supply chain consists of two distribution centers and you estimate you have around $500,000 in safety stock holding costs across both of these, these two distribution centers. So that's the current state. To reduce shipping costs, uh, management has decided to open six additional distribution centers. That means you'd have a total of eight. And due to the regional locations, management thinks that the demand are approximately independent among locations. And we can assume that their demand variance, holding and penalty costs are the same across all locations. So the question to you is, how does this decision of going from two to eight distribution centers impact your inventory holding costs? Will your holding costs stay the same? Will it decrease or will it increase? Please pause if you need a little bit more time to think about this. So the correct answer here, if you go from two to eight 
your holding cost will increase. Uh, so the correct answer is C. And so what I would like you to take away from this is you increase the number of locations, you will increase your inventory cost. All right, so the next question is by how much, okay? So the, the first two bullet points are exactly the same, but how much um, will your safety stock holding cost increase with a total of eight distribution centers? Please pause, um, do some calculations, and then uh, restart the video. So hopefully after doing some calculations, you got the answer D or 1 million. What is the background to this? Well, you currently have 500,000 in safety stock. You are going to go from eight um, is the future. So N of two is eight and your current is two. So the square root of four is two. Two times 500,000 is 1 million. So the correct answer is D. All right, so just as a summary, I think these are some great quotes to think about why does this happen? And so this is a quote from the father of the Toyota production system. And he said, the more inventory you have, the less likely you are to have what you need. And I think a really good corollary to this is the more locations you have, the less likely you'll have the right product in the right place. And this is why as the number of locations you need things at increase, you need to increase your safety stock um to have the same service level i think a good way to think about this is if you've ever owned an umbrella and you want to have it for rain if it needs to be in multiple places you oftentimes don't have uh just one umbrella you need more of them because you have multiple locations uh and the thing about this is the rain doesn't change <laughs> based on uh the number of umbrellas you have uh but you need more of them to have the same service level um for that so Again, the more locations you have, the less likely to have the right product in the right place. That's why as you increase the number of locations you have inventory, the safety stock must increase um, as a rule of thumb by the square root of number of locations.